Action cameras have been more or less the same over recent years. There have been some new features, but none of them made a big difference. While the Insta360 Ace Pro might look like just another action camera on first sight, it adds some new features that actually make shooting videos quite different and more useful than other action cameras. So let's get into it and find out how you can use the Ace Pro and its uniquenesses to capture better and more cinematic shots. One of the most advertised new features of the Ace Pro is its 8K resolution. Now, this number only sounds like higher video quality, which wouldn't be that important as other action cameras are already quite good, but the 8K resolution is not just about the quality, but more about flexibility. Traditionally, you're limited by the typical ultra-wide angle action cam view, and there's not much you can do about it. But thanks to the 8K resolution, the Ace Pro allows for a 2x crop in camera, giving you a much narrower field of view and therefore shots that you couldn't get with regular action cameras. So just double tap on the screen in 4K whenever you think the shot could be a bit tighter and it looks more like shot on a normal camera. Additionally, recording in 8K allows you to crop more in the edit, so you can reframe your shots later or animate camera movements. Another aspect that makes your videos more cinematic is motion blur. You usually need ND filters to keep the shutter speed low to get this effect, what's not really suitable for the shots you get with action cameras. Alternatively, you can add motion blur during the edit, but that requires expensive plugins or the paid version of DaVinci Resolve. Luckily, the Insta360 Ace Pro lets you add motion blur during the edit for free and it actually looks quite good. So forget about ND filters with this camera, it's an action camera overall, you want to have it quick and easy to use and don't just fiddle around with the ND filters all the time, so have fun with it, get your footage and add the motion blur later in post. There are shots where it doesn't work that good, like if I shake my hand for example and I try to add it in post, it adds a bit of warping there, but for most shots it works pretty good and considering it's an action camera, not every shot has to be perfect, I think it's fine to do it like that. The main reason why I even shoot with action cameras occasionally is the simplicity and ease of use. Sometimes I just want to get a quick shot from a certain angle. To do so, I would usually have to take some time to mount my action camera somewhere. The Insta360 doesn't completely eliminate that, but it at least makes it a lot faster for common angles such as on my motorbike thanks to the magnetic mount. Just mount it in place one time and after that simply snap it. Plus it sounds good. And to ensure that it really cannot fall off at all, you can also slide that safety lock here in place, then it cannot go anywhere. But the magnetic mount is not the only mounting option. They also collaborated with PJY Tech to give you the Mantis Pod Z in the creator combo, which lets you easily attach and place it on many spots to capture cool angles quickly. You can for example attach it to your screen for a top-down shot of you working, or to your door to show how you leave your room after work in a daily vlog. It also extends as a selfie stick, perfect for filming yourself on the go. The cool thing of the Mantis Pod is really that you have so many mounting options because you can easily place it anywhere or also hang it, what gives you so much flexibility. And the arms also extend as you can see here. So you can also use it as a kind of mini tripod on the go. Of course, it's not a full one, but that also gives you options for camera angles that wouldn't be possible otherwise. That's why I actually think for small action cameras like the Insta360 Ace Pro, even your iPhone, etc., this is actually one of the best tripods that you can get. When you film yourself, it can sometimes be hard to frame your shots properly. The Insta360 Ace Pro lets you flip the screen to see yourself, what is great, but it might still be a bit too small for certain shots when it's far away or the angle doesn't allow it. Here the wristband comes in handy. You just wear it like a watch and can perfectly see what the camera sees. That makes framing your shots a lot easier. I do hope that Insta360 gives us the same functionality soon on the Apple Watch app though because it's an awesome feature, I love it in certain situations, but I don't want to switch my watches all the time. Now action cameras like the Insta360 Ace Pro are not only great for shooting normal videos, but also time lapses. Time lapses let you tell better stories and let's be honest, they look cool. The Ace Pro gives you multiple options to shoot time lapses. At first, you can select the time shift mode. This mode is good for moving time lapses, also called hyperlapses. So you can move around with your Ace Pro and the video is automatically sped up as a video file. 
Important to notice that in order to shoot good hyperlapses, you should not move randomly around, but focus your hyperlapse around a certain point or use it to transition from one place to the other. For traditional time lapses, you have two options. You can either choose the time lapse mode, which also outputs a video file directly with the final time lapse, so you can directly edit it into your video without any additional steps. This mode is great for quick storytelling to show time passing by. Therefore, this mode doesn't give you the full quality. For that, you would have to choose the interval mode. This mode lets you shoot single photos in up to 48 megapixels raw, which you can put together later to a time lapse. This way of time lapsing requires more work during the edit, but therefore it gives you the best quality. I would recommend this mode if you want to show off, for example, with some epic landscape time lapses. The 48 megapixels also let you crop a lot in the edit, so you can reframe and animate your time lapses. And even that is not all when it comes to time lapses on this camera. It also offers a mode called Star Lapse, which is designed to take time lapses of the night sky. This mode also comes with presets, which let you select if you want star trails or just a normal night sky. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to test this mode yet as we can't see the stars from here currently due to air pollution. However, I think this mode should do a great job shooting stars because I shot the Milky Way a few years ago with a GoPro Hero 8 and the Ace Pro is a lot better in low light due to its AI processing. And that's also our next point, the Ace Pro is the best low light action camera thanks to its pure video mode which greatly enhances low light footage. Of course, the low light footage you can get with this camera is still not the same as with bigger cameras, but it's a lot better and certainly usable. So if you consider shooting at night and you only want to bring an action camera, here you go. But don't forget, you have to set the Ace Pro to pure video mode as this is optimized for low light, otherwise it won't look good. And of course, to get the best footage out of this camera, you should also choose the right settings. And to be honest, I wouldn't change too much. Just make sure that video encoding under image settings is set to H.265 and bitrate to high and set the sharpness to low or medium because otherwise the footage just looks way too sharp and not in a good way. I also found using the standard picture profile gives the best results, so just choose that. And you can't long press the screen as on GoPros to fix your exposure quickly. So if you want to avoid exposure changes during the shoot, you have to switch to M mode, choose the lowest ISO and expose via shutter speed. And by the way, if you didn't get an Insta360 Ace Pro yet, make sure to order it via my link in the description below as the first 11 orders from this link will get 10% discount. So you support this channel while saving money. So I hope this little tutorial was helpful and that you shoot better videos with your Insta360 Ace Pro. And if you also want to learn how to use normal cameras to shoot better videos, check out this video here that I made a full 45 minute course with everything you need to know.